Plants turn sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water into food. It's a process called photosynthesis. Plant biologist Steve Long studies it at the University of Illinois. Arguably, photosynthesis is the most important process on our planet. It is the driving force behind all of life. The process is not very efficient in some of our most important crop plants. And that's a luxury we cannot afford, says Matthew Reynolds at the International Maize and Wheat Improvement Center, known as CIMIT. He spoke to VOA via Skype. Population is growing so fast, climate change is, is affecting negatively um, predictions of productivity. And so we kind of forced to push our crops to the limit. Here's how Long's group pushed crops. Plants have a system that protects them from too much sun, but when clouds or leaves shade them, that system stays on for minutes or hours, slowing down the plant's growth. Long and his colleagues added genes that shortened the recovery time. Modified plants grew up to 20% more than untreated ones. This finding, where we've just made one modification that has boosted crop yield, is really a boost to the whole area because everyone else working on photosynthesis can now see if we can improve photosynthetic efficiency in crops, we will get more yield. Long's group used genetic engineering, or transgenics, which can be controversial. But Reynolds, who focuses on conventional plant breeding, says it's a start. A transgenic event can prove a proof of concept so we can start looking for natural variation as well. Reynolds says the yield gains Long's colleagues achieved are impressive, and he's cautiously optimistic. But he wonders... What is the downside? Why have the plants not done that before? And we always ask those questions when we see something that looks a bit too good to be true. Long's group worked in tobacco because it's easy to study. Next, they plan to apply the same techniques to rice, soybeans, and cassava, three critical food supplies around the world. Steve Barragona, VOA News.